Hey, what's going on guys? This is ETA Prime back here again. Today we're going to be taking a look at the top ARM-based single board computers of 2020. Now you might notice that there are some x86 based boards here, but I do want to give some notable shout outs by the end here because there really were some awesome single board computers released in 2020. But when it comes down to it, my list is going to consist of five ARM-based single board computers that have been released in 2020 and are under the $100 price mark. Because if you're into single board computers, you know that there have been some awesome boards released this year that were just way too overpriced. But performance is absolutely amazing on those boards. Unfortunately, they're not accessible to a lot of people because of that price. I mean, $300 to $500 for a single board computer, in my opinion, is absolutely ridiculous when you can build a small form factor PC that's going to outperform it in every aspect except for the form factor. So let's go ahead and jump right into my list. We're going to start out with number five and work our way up to number one. And a lot of you probably already have a good idea of what number one's going to be, but the middle of the list might surprise you a little bit. So coming in at number five, the NanoPi 4B. This is a six core RK3399 CPU. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you know I'm not a big fan of this chip here. But at a $65 price point, 2 gigs of RAM, this is a pretty decent performer when it comes to Android. And when the RK3399 was released in 2019, I had really high hopes for it. And on paper, it looks like a really nice little ARM-based CPU. But unfortunately, when it comes to drivers, it's really lacking in the Linux department. Now, there have been a lot of advancements made in 2020 for the RK3399, but I think it's a bit too late for this chip. So this one's coming in at number 5. Moving up the list a little bit to number four. Now, I wanted to put this a little higher on the mark, but I think the price point kind of kills it for a lot of people. This is the Odroid N2 Plus. We have a six core S922X CPU. Performance is absolutely amazing with Android. But again, when it comes to Linux performance, it's still lacking. For the kind of power that this thing can put down in Android and emulation, I would expect a better desktop experience out of it. But unfortunately, just like the RK3399, the S922X suffers from the lack of driver development for Linux. And just like all of Odroid single board computers, it doesn't include Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Now don't get me wrong, the Odroid N2 Plus is definitely one of the more powerful ARM-based single board computers released in 2020, but the chip they're using here has been on the market for about two years and I would expect better desktop performance out of it by now. So this one's coming in at number four. Moving over to number three on my list, we have the NVIDIA Jetson Nano 2GB model. This was released in 2020. It has a quad-core Cortex-A57 CPU, and it's a very powerful and affordable platform for AI development. But what's really holding this back, at least in my opinion, is operating system availability. There's only one available, but at that one, this thing definitely shines. It's got that X1 CPU, and it can definitely power through anything you throw at it on that operating system. But I would love to see somebody come out with at least a single Android version that we could throw on an SD card and boot it up on this unit. But when it comes down to it, you will be stuck on Ubuntu with the NVIDIA Jetson Nano. And that's why this one's coming in at number three on my list. Number two actually might surprise some people, but I'm a big fan of the Odroid C4. We have a lot of operating systems available. It's got a price point of $50 with 4 gigabytes of LPDDR4 RAM and a quad-core S905X3 CPU, which is not the most powerful CPU on the market, but it does have amazing Android support. Now, just like the N2 Plus, we don't get Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, but I think the price offsets that a little bit. This does have eMMC storage support and micro SD card support, full-size HDMI, four USB 3.0 ports, and gigabit Ethernet. For a $50 board, I think this has a lot going for it, especially if you want to run Android on a single board computer. I've done several videos showing off emulation, gaming, Android, and even some desktop operating systems running on this little unit. And at 50 bucks, I do think this is an awesome little single board computer. And that's why I put it up on the list at number two. Now, even though we're taking a look at ARM-based single board computers, I did want to throw one notable mention in here for x86. One of my favorite boards that it's been released in 2020, be it ARM or x86, is actually the Odyssey x86 J4105. It does come in at a higher price tag than anything we've taken a look at so far. $219 for the base board, or $269 with the case and the 128GB M.2. It's powered by a quad-core Intel Celeron J4105. We also have 8 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM soldered to the board. It's got decent I.O., comes with a heatsink and fan, and overall, this has been an awesome little performer when it comes to mini PC slash single board computers. And yes, I do consider this a single board computer because we have the RAM and CPU soldered to the board. 
Another one I'd like to mention here is the NVIDIA Jetson Xavier NX. Coming in at $400, this is definitely one of the more expensive ARM-based single board computers of 2020. It's actually the most powerful ARM board that I've ever tested on my channel, and I've done a lot of reviews. There's a custom 6-core NVIDIA GPU, 384-core NVIDIA Volta GPU, it's got 8 gigabytes of RAM, full-size HDMI, full-size DisplayPort, gigabit Ethernet, 4 USB 3.0 ports, and it does come with AC, Wi-Fi, and Bluetooth 5.0 built in. Now, there's only one operating system available, just like the Jetson Nano, but it powers through absolutely everything in that operating system, which happens to be Ubuntu. It's an AI beast, and when it comes to emulation, this will actually run GameCube up to 1440p at full speed. Not to mention Sega Saturn, Dreamcast, PSP, and tons of others. Now, we've almost made it over to the number one single board computer of 2020, but I had to throw the Pi 400 in this video because this is actually my favorite piece of tech that's been released in 2020. Out of everything that I've reviewed from high-end graphics cards, high-end PCs, laptops, cell phones, and things like that, this is my absolute favorite piece of tech for 2020. And basically what we have here is a Raspberry Pi 4, 4 gigabyte model inside of a keyboard. It's not exactly an off-the-shelf Raspberry Pi 4, it's actually a custom PCB, but it runs everything that the Raspberry Pi will, and this CPU can actually be overclocked to 2.3 gigahertz without thermal throttling because there is a big heat shield built into this. If you're interested in learning more about the Pi 400, I will leave some links to videos I created in the description, but just note at $100 for the base kit here, it is totally worth it. And of course, a lot of you already know what this is going to be, but number one on my list, obviously the Raspberry Pi 4 8 gigabyte model. Coming in at $75, it's definitely a bit pricey, but when it comes down to it, the Pi 4 might not be the most powerful single board computer on the market, but it has a community to back it up. Anything you want to run will run on the Raspberry Pi. They even got Windows on ARM running on the Raspberry Pi 4, be it the 4 gigabyte model, which was released in 2019, and the 8 gigabyte model, which was released in 2020. This is hands down my favorite single board computer, mainly because of the awesome community support and third party peripherals available for the Raspberry Pi. I mean, it's second to none and it's available basically everywhere. I actually went to my local Target recently and they had Raspberry Pi 4s on the shelf from Canakit. So whether you're looking for a single board computer for emulation, retro gaming, desktop environments, home automation, building a server, I would definitely recommend at least starting out with the Raspberry Pi 4 even if you have to go with the two or the four gigabyte model. But this video was about the best single board computers of 2020 and the Raspberry Pi 4 eight gigabyte model is at the top of my list and it's definitely my favorite single board computer. So yeah, those are the boards that I think are the top five ARM based single board computers of 2020. But that's just my opinion. And I would actually like to know what you guys think are the top five single board computers of 2020. It can be anything that I have on the table here or anything that I didn't think of or throw in this video. It had to be released in 2020 and it needs to be at or under $100. So if you feel up to it, let me know down below. Go ahead and make your list. Let's do five for everybody and see what you guys think. But that's going to wrap it up for this video. Really appreciate you watching. I think there was some great stuff released in 2020, but I'm super excited to see what comes in 2021. But that's it for this one. And like always, thanks for watching.